Just in, Kavanaugh has had it, makes major announcement as accuser is on her way now. Judge Brett Kavanaugh thought that today would be the day that he'd be confirmed as the as the newest member of the U.S. Supreme Court. He's worked his entire adult life to get to the honorable position with the highest court in the country. His career course was derailed in the final days before it became official by a woman from his past who came forward with a shocking sexual assault allegation against him, which allegedly took place when Kavanaugh was just a teen. The validity of, of Christine Blasey Ford's claim has not been proven or disproven, despite being given a deadline of 10 a.m. on Monday morning to testify about the details of her assertion that could destroy Kavanaugh's chances of being confirmed. The ongoing charade still continues today as her deadline has passed, but the confirmation process is still not moving forward for an aggravating reason. One can only imagine how incredibly frustrated and upset Judge Kavanaugh must be about the seemingly well-timed accusation against him. He's the enemy to the leftist's agenda and it appears that Dr. Ford is being bolstered up by Democrats to derail President Trump's decision to nominate Kavanaugh, despite a great lack of detail the alleged victim has in her claim against the judge. To drag out the drama, or at least add to it, is that Dr. Ford refuses to fly from her home in Palo Alto, California to Washington, D.C. to testify on time because she's allegedly afraid of airplanes. Instead, she opted to drive across the country, a distance of just under 3,000 miles which will take a few days. Had she not waited, perhaps strategically so, as some claim, until the 11th hour to insert this assault claim into the confirmation decision, then she could have given herself more time to travel and still meet the deadline. Even still, the process has been stalled to accommodate her so she can be heard. Meanwhile, Judge Kavanaugh's life remains in limbo, his family is being attacked with death threats, some of which are specifically targeted at his two young daughters. The insanity needs to end but all hinges on what Dr. Ford says and when she actually will say it, if she really does in the end. She's waited over three decades to announce it and there's nothing to say she won't keep waiting longer to drag this out further. However, Kavanaugh has had enough of the charade. He seems to have exceeded the level of frustration one could possibly feel in this high-profile and extremely stressful ordeal. Not much has been heard from him in the past few days of immense coverage of the situation, but now he's breaking his silence and is being heard before Dr. Ford arrives in Washington, D.C. PBS NewsHour reports the sudden, shocking announcement Kavanaugh made to the Senate Judiciary Committee regarding accusations against him from decades ago. Judge Brett Kavanaugh says he will not be intimidated into withdrawing his nomination for the Supreme Court after allegations of sexual misconduct. Kavanaugh and his first accuser, Christine Blasey Ford, will testify to the Senate Judiciary Committee on Thursday. A second woman, Deborah Ramirez, has told The New Yorker that Kavanaugh exposed himself to her in college. Kavanaugh denies both allegations. In a letter to the Judiciary panel, Kavanaugh says, These are smears, pure and simple. He calls the allegations grotesque and obvious character assassination and says they could dissuade others from entering public service. Kavanaugh says threats of violence against his family and the coordinated effort to destroy my good name won't drive him out. Several Senate Republicans have called the allegations smears and urged to vote on Kavanaugh after Thursday's hearing. Dear Chairman Grassley and Ranking Member Feinstein, When I testified in front of the Senate three weeks ago, I explained my belief that fair process is foundational to justice and to our democracy. At that time, I sat before the Senate Judiciary Committee for more than 31 hours and answered questions under oath. I then answered more questions at a confidential session. The following week, I responded to more than 1,200 written questions, more than have been submitted to all previous Supreme Court nominees combined. Only after that exhaustive process was complete did I learn, through the news media, about a 36 year-old allegation from high school that had been asserted months earlier and withheld from me throughout the hearing process. First it was an anonymous allegation that I categorically and unequivocally denied. Soon after the accuser was identified, I repeated my denial on the record and made clear that I wished to appear before the committee. I then repeated my denial to committee investigators, under criminal penalties for false statements. All of the witnesses identified by Dr. Ford as being present at the party she describes are on the record to the committee saying they have no recollection of any such party happening. I asked to testify before the committee again under oath as soon as possible, so that both Dr. Ford and I could both be heard. I thank Chairman Grassley for scheduling that hearing for Thursday. Last night, another false and uncorroborated accusation from 35 years ago was published. Once. Again, 
those alleged to have been witnesses to the event deny it ever happened. There is now a frenzy to come up with something, anything, that will block this process and a vote on my confirmation from occurring. These are smears, pure and simple. And they debase our public discourse. But they are also a threat to any man or woman who wishes to serve our country. Such grotesque and obvious character assassination, if allowed to succeed, will dissuade competent and good people of all political persuasions from service. As I told the committee during my hearing, a federal judge must be independent, not swayed by public or political pressure. That is the kind of judge I will always be. I will not be intimidated into withdrawing from this process. The coordinated effort to destroy my good name will not drive me out. The vile threats of violence against my family will not drive me out. The last-minute character assassination will not succeed. I have devoted my career to serving the public and the cause of justice, and particularly to promoting the equality and dignity of women. Women from every phase of my life have come forward to attest to my character. I am grateful to them. I owe it to them, and to my family, too. Defend my integrity in my name. I look forward to answering questions from the Senate on Thursday. Sincerely, Brett M. Kavanaugh. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.